<sighs> What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Black Mass. Um, as you can see, these are my glasses and the light. Um, I don't have the mask on today, so that's why this one is going to be pretty much dark because I just got off work about a little before 3 and it's 3.35 right now so it's early in the fucking morning I hope y'all are up feeling good, chilling good cause it feels so good to be high and I'm gonna be smoking that good ass chronic I'm gonna go ahead and shout out my nigga Aldo, I appreciate you watching my videos, I really do and checking up on me And I really appreciate that because from the standard of truck driving, it's really busy and most of the times we always want to relax whenever we're not working. Because other than that, once we're on that truck, it's constant work. So I really appreciate you checking up on me, my boy. Um, <clears throat> I also want to shout out my nigga Kenny. Um, they both out in Texas. I always say that. And... um. Also, shout out Ralph, Ralph Smart for using his saying. Well, of course, I changed it up, but I still use the saying. So, I always shout him out for that. Seriously, I hope everybody else has been having a good morning. If you aren't, don't even let that shit get to you. Just drop that shit like flies, man. Drop it like flies. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into my little chat. Um, This video ain't going to be long, long. Because, you know, I, I just got off work and it's about to be Saturday. I got shit I'm about to do today. And I ain't going to be here. I am not going to be here for long. So... Cutting straight to the chase. Um, this time I want to say it's um very difficult to deal with some people over the road. Now I do understand there are some people who are beginner drivers, and you know there's going to be people like that. But what I don't get. Okay. Like most of these people who are beginner drivers. And I'm not saying all people. But there are some out there. There may even be some who's watching the video knows what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> okay, this as an example. Whenever you don't have your license, you're trying your hardest and with all your might to make sure you do everything right to pass that test. You ain't speeding. You ain't driving crazy. You ain't dropping nowhere near as reckless as you would as soon as you get that license and that got and that test person it. But I ain't gonna chat about that because that's not what I do. But there's a lot. Well, I, I finally figured out a lot of reasons why insurance is so high for us young. Long story short, it's because you're a high risk, in which it all makes sense, especially for me now since I've been driving for a little while. And the reason I brought that up <clears throat> is because I honestly feel that a lot of people out here should not have their fucking license. I mean, it seems that some people just guess on shit until they got it right. And it seems the DMV just said, fuck it, man. Get this motherfucker their license. I'm tired of seeing their ass. Just get them the fuck out of here. And I'm like, really? You gonna get them the fuck out of there? And had them motherfuckers over the road while I gotta deal with this shit. I appreciate the DMV so much. Y'all do such a fucked up good job. I guess that means y'all give anybody they fucking license. Even if it's a base head. As long as he got enough to get him a car. Even if the lights and shit don't work. And y'all don't want to deal with it. I guess y'all pass that motherfucker too. Hmm. But um, anyways, 
like I said, the reason I brought all that up is because um, earlier I was uh, making a run <clears throat> and this car literally pulls out in front of me as I'm going like 60 miles per hour. Now, I don't know, most people may not know this, but even on my truck, which I, I recorded it, but it's on the phone that I'm making this video with, so I couldn't show you right now, but um, I recorded it because it's on the side of my truck. Literally, it says GVW, gross value weight. Gross value is also means the maximum weight that I could hold on that truck. My gross value is 80,000 pounds. Last time I checked, there is no car in this world, I mean that, there is no fucking car, no single truck, unless it's an 18 wheeler truck, of course. There is no actual personal vehicle, car or truck that weighs as much as an 18 wheeler. Now the reason I brought that into play is because if there is no other personal vehicle that weighs as much as a company vehicle or an 18 wheeler, if you jump out in front of me going 60 miles per hour, whether I'm loaded or not loaded, if you jump out like let's say 400 feet in front of me or 500 feet in front of me, how the hell am I going to just suddenly slam on my brakes and go from 60 to zero? It's not a car. Cars. They don't weigh as much as trucks, so they stop easier. But a truck, mm-mm. It's not, because I almost hit that person. I literally almost fucking hit them. I wasn't even mad, though. I mean, no more. I'm not mad no more. But when it happened, I was fucking pissed. I'm sitting here like, dude, not only could I crush your shit, I could kill you, I could kill whoever is in that passenger side if there's someone there, and I can kill even the kids in the back, and I'll be at fault for your dumbass choice. That's something a lot of people don't understand. When shit happens, the first thing, especially dealing with us truck drivers, they always want to try and aim for us first. Somehow, some way, they're going to make sure we are at fault. So I really don't like dealing with people who do that. Because there are people out there who do that insurance scam. Like they brake check trucks. I've seen lots of videos about that. They jump out in front of trucks or brake check you. Or they come going almost as fast as you. And then just cut in front of you then hit the brakes. That's a, that's a scam. That's not really... Yeah. So I, I don't like when people do that. I don't even like people who do do that. I would never even get in the fucking car with you, man. I will not. Because to me, you a fucking risk. And I don't like risks. Mm -mm. The only risk that I like to take, and this is only because this is what I do, the only risk I will take is being hungover in the morning from drinking too much. I'll take that chance because I like to drink. <sighs> that bitch good. Also, a um, friend was talking to me. Yeah, I wasn't about to put my face in here. I told you I ain't got the mask on. Anyways, me and a friend was talking, and he hit a few interesting conversations. Quite a few, actually. I didn't know that there are more prisons than there are federal, or, yeah, federal prisons. 
top of that, there's a big difference from the federal and the state prison. Now, the federal prison, when you get regular time, it don't matter, 5, 10, 15, however many years you get, you're going to do that shit, and that's the end of the conversation. There ain't no, oh, can I this and that? No. You do your time, and you're going to do that fucking time. Then you get out, and you can do whatever you please again. Now, if you want a state prison, that can operate way different. Not only can you deduce your time, I mean, sorry, reduce your time, but you can even get out early. On good behavior, shit like that. <laughs> But um, another thing about the difference of the state and federal prisons, like I said, the main reason why you have to do your time in a federal prison is because they don't have no other type of way to reduce time. They don't do that. They literally, you know, 23 hour lockdown, one hour of you know, wreck time, whatever, that's it. They don't do nothing else. Nothing else is considered anything. No, really it's not even allowed. It's just not allowed, period. Nothing else is allowed. Now, the state, the reason why you can get so much time off is simple. You can work for the state. Whether it's picking up trash on the side of the road, on the highway and shit, them people you be seeing, yeah, you can do that. You can work in the kitchen, serving foods with other prisoners, stuff like that. You know, they have all type of jobs they do. But what they don't tell you is... Though, okay, let's say for per one person. Every person who signs up, let's say the highway job. You know, the people picking up trash on the highway from prison and stuff. Let's say this one person... He goes in, he works all day, you know, what, eight hours or whatever, or a 10 hour shift, whatever, and he's going to get 70 cents per day. Let's add that up, calculate it throughout the week. Let's say he makes, what, $5 out of the week. Let's just go with five. Now, he got his five, but what he don't know is while he signed up and went to work and go out there, the moment he put himself on that list, available to work, the the CEO or whoever, I forgot who, but there's someone who's getting paid $100 for that person each day they go out there. So at the end of the week, the people over, whoever it is that in the prison, I forgot who he said it was, but there's someone in that prison they're going to be making $500 a week off of you and only throw you $5. Oh, yeah, that's good. You can put that in your canteen or whatever. Make that work. Now, he's getting $500 a week off of you and you're only getting basically slave change. That's all I'm going to call it. Slave change. And there ain't shit you can do about it because that's out of state. And the law, I mean, I'm not sorry. The state prisons and the states themselves organize and orchestrate things. So, of course, they're all team buddy-buddy, golfing and shit like that. Having fun while you making that 70 cents for one day. Yeah, them niggas eating some caviar, golfing at that good place. Hell, they probably golfing at um, Walt Disney right now. Laughing it up, having a good time with their kids while other motherfuckers in prison are suffering. They don't give a damn. But, hey man, what do I know? 
I don't know shit. Um, and I'm gonna switch the subject though. Another thing me and my um friend was talking about. And this is just dealing with women. Now, I, in particular, don't agree completely with everything he says. Only because my life isn't like that. You know, there are women out there who are different. Not every woman is the same. But there are a majority of them who are like what he was saying. And it seems to be true to me. But like I said, I don't agree with everything he was saying. But I don't know, like... You know, one man can get a good man, and he can give her the world. She may be happy then, but somehow, someway, all it takes is for, I guess, a guy to treat her like shit, and some reason they love it. And that's what, quote unquote, this is exactly what my own... Team, well, not team driver, but um, someone who I drive with uh, has said that's exactly what he said. Women love that shit when you treat them like trash. And he's told me some conversations I'm not gonna talk about, but I'm just like, damn. And and I've even seen some of the texts and shit. You know, like he didn't mind showing me. Like I don't understand, but there are women out there who do like being treat it like shit they just I don't understand but they love it it's just crazy damn blank keep going out All I'm saying is, I wouldn't even think about saying some of that shit to my wife. Like, just as an example, if I even said, like, you know, and, and if I just came randomly with it, like she didn't expect it, it would not go down well. If I walk up to her, like, hey, bitch, come, put, come suck on this dick. Man, she gonna look at me like, who the fuck you calling bitch? You know, like, she don't, yeah, my wife don't like being called out of her name so mm -mm, she don't play that It feels like the days have been flying by like, I don't know. Like it's Saturday, but it feels like just last week Saturday was less than three days ago, if that makes sense to anyone. I don't know, but it just feels like time's been flying by. Ever since this year hit, last year felt like it was like kind of fast, but this year felt like it's just fucking speeding by. I mean, literally, it's already fucking June, but yet, I feel like April and, and March and all that was just like two months ago. It don't even feel like it was more like three months and four months ago. Like, that shit really, it feels like it was just a month and a half ago. But what was weird is how cold it still was all the way up until, I think, what, just last month? Because usually, I don't know, when I was growing up, it was not like that. When the summertime came... No, 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 let me rephrase that. <clears throat> not when the summertime came, but... Okay, let's say the beginning of the year, it would be cold, 
you know, January, February, about sometime in March, that's when it start warming up, and it's warm by mid, late March, going on April, unless that groundhog thing happened, then usually it would be, you know, right around in April, the, in the middle of April, it's already warm, then from there, it's going to be warmish, and then start getting hot, hot by June, and then it's going to be on fire all the way through July and August, um, and then, you know, late August, September, it start getting chilly. Yeah, so it's like warmish or autumn, I guess, and August, late August, and then, yeah, it get, uh, it's still like autumn and September, really. It's just like the end of September, that's when it start getting cold and shit. And that's when, yeah, it's, it's freezing from basically late September, all the way back over again. Since time been flying, hell, I've just been busy with my family, doing all kind of shit, really. Which I didn't mind that. It's been keeping me distracted. And I like to be distracted sometimes. Enjoy myself a little bit more and I hope everybody enjoys themselves of course you know I'm only gonna be smoking my weed drinking my beer or liquor but hey if you wanna whatever you do I don't really even care. It's what you do, man. I know what I do, which is weed and alcohol. That's the process I go. Whatever pleases you, man, let that please you and satisfy you. And again, I hope we're all just breathing in that good-ass chronic. Because it feels so good to be high. And thanks for watching. <laughs>